gonna lie. I'm really digging this setup. This is so fun. This video is sponsored by Insta360 and that sequence was shot with the Insta360 Go 3 and this really sweet multi-friction arm from Small Rig. And all this is held by the bottom of the camera with the quarter 20 mount. And so yeah, it's a really, really cool, unique POV shot. All right, let me show you how it all works. So here is my camera, the Sony Alpha 7C Mark II. Here is my little POV rig with the Insta360 Go 3. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna attach it to the bottom of the camera so there's that whole setup pretty cool and uh, it's a little tricky to like reposition the angle so just kind of be mindful of that I recommend sitting down but once you have it in a good position kind of like so then uh, you can adjust the camera even more so with the ball head just like that and you can come up with some really cool shots in fact let's go ahead and film an example right now all right now we're recording I'm using the flip up screen to compose my shot. I see the lens, I see the camera, I see myself. And if I use my hand to hide the multi-friction arm, like you won't see it at all. It kind of gives you that illusion, that POV illusion without seeing the actual tools in the frame. And so yeah, if I just move around like that, while I look around, do a bit of acting, it just makes for a really cool POV shot, you know? So yeah. Now, if you are gonna be doing this POV shot with the Insta360 GO 3, you have to turn off stabilization because if the stabilization is turned on, it's gonna move the, the shot for you because it's trying to compensate for that movement. I've tried it before, it looks really weird and funky, but if you turn off stabilization, then it's gonna look really cool. The object that you're trying to keep in the center will be in frame, like your shot will just look really steady. Also, feel free to change the field of views. Oftentimes I like filming in narrow, or maybe I wanna go to linear, or you know, do action or ultra wide. It really depends on what you wanna shoot, but, uh, but yeah, again, you can control all that with the touchscreen of the Insta360 Go 3. Look at this little Whoa. POV shot, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, that has a really neat, like, first person view. Have you, kind of have, you seen, have you seen this effect before, or have you tried holding a, a POV setup like this? I haven't personally done this. This is cool, this is fun. Like you don't you don't want to do it all the time, but if you want to get funky with your shots, get something unique. Like that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, that feels like really like action-packed in a weird way. Now, even though this small rig multi-friction arm is very handy to create those unique POV shots, it's not the only accessory that you can use with the Go 3. Now, over here are an assortment of mounts that you can use with the Go 3. Of course, you have the housing, you saw that earlier. This is the magnetic pendant that you can wear around yourself. Just simply attach the Go 3 on the pendant and then just wear it like a necklace. It's really cool. Here you have this little monkey tail kind of thing. You just mount the, the camera on one end of the monkey tail and then just wrap this thing around like a pole or something. It's cool. It's also weird, but cool at the same time. Here you have a tabletop tripod. We've all seen that. Here is a uh, baseball cap holder. You just attach this to the brim of a baseball cap, attach the Go 3 on here, and, and with that you can get some true POV shots. But one of my favorites is this reusable sticky mount that you can attach to flat surfaces. I'm gonna show you an example. I'm gonna place this over here on my MacBook Pro. Place that over there. Now, now it's stuck. I'm gonna get the Go 3. Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Place that back in the housing, and then I'm just gonna simply attach this entire thing on my MacBook Pro. I'm gonna use a handy dandy flip up screen. And so now it's mounted onto the laptop. It's pretty secure, but let me go ahead and film it so that you can see what this shot looks like. Oh, this is a really cool angle. <laughs> it looks like one of those shots from Apple commercials featuring the new MacBook Pro. Like you got the Apple logo in the front, you got the subject in the background, and overall just makes for a really cool shot. Now this field of view is the linear mode on the Insta360 Go 3. And when doing these types of shots, like feel free to change the perspective. All right, so now the field of view is set to narrow. And as the name suggests, the field of view is a little more narrow than the linear. All right, so now the field of view is set to action, and so you have a wider field of view, but also things are a little bit distorted more, so just keep that in mind. But now let's go ahead and change the perspective to ultra. All right, so now we're filming with the ultra field of view, and yeah, you do get a lot of distortion, but also it kind of makes for a really cool action-y effect, almost as if like you're filming a skateboard video or whatever. But feel free to play around with the different field of views on the Insta360 GO 3. All right, let's talk about the Insta360 GO 3 for a second. Now, sure, I can film any of those POV shots with pretty much any action camera, but what makes the Go 3 stand out above the rest from all other action cameras is the fact that it's super small, lightweight, and it's magnetic. Check it out. This is a metal pole and I can easily attach the Go 3 on this pole. That is so cool. And with the action pod, which is right over here, I can remotely view what the camera is seeing with the action pod because of the wireless connection. Like that is so cool. And if I just press on the bottom of the Go 3, 
like that'll trigger it to start recording. And then I can see what I'm recording on the action pod over there. I'm just gonna wave my hand. There I am. But yeah, this is exactly why I think the Insta360 GO 3 stands out above all other action cameras, which is why I love using it to film POV shots. All right, so here's a really cool POV shot of the camera. It kind of feels like the camera on my eyes. Uh, you have to turn off stabilization though on the Insta360 GO 3. Otherwise, uh, the camera stabilization is gonna move all around. All right, so this is also a cool POV shot of me holding the camera where you're looking at the, at the camera screen. But when stabilization is turned off, it just keeps the camera in the center, makes for a really really, really cool POV shot. Here's another really cool angle where you actually don't see the magic arm um, on the bottom of the camera, but it's a really cool angle that shows the top of the camera and the lens and kind of shows like this whole camera setup in action. And this is actually my favorite POV shot with the Insta360 GO 3. I'm kind of covering the magic arm with my hand, but you're kind of focusing on the lens and what I'm doing with my camera setup. But yeah, it just makes for a really cool POV shot, especially if you move uh, the camera like this. And this is a very simple POV shot where the GO 3 is actually facing towards me. It's still on the magic arm, but I just turned the camera towards me, but I'm still holding the camera trying to get some shots here. But yeah, again, makes for another really cool and interesting POV shot. And the great thing with this magic arm is that you can position the camera pretty much anywhere. And because the GO 3 is super lightweight, like you can just come up with any angle, any POV angle with the magic arm and the GO 3 attached to your camera. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, it's my new video I'm working on, but oh, it's like okay. a is, uh, really cool POV shot. It's an Insta360 GO 3. I'm you filming the camera. <laughs> oh, you're filming the yeah, camera. Yeah, see, like, filming it, look how cool that is. You're That's a cool man. shot, right? Right, right. It's right. a really cool shot. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Who knows? You might be in the video. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy. All right, see ya. It's always fun meeting your subscribers. All right, so that is my sweet little POV rig with a small rig multi-friction arm and the Insta360 GO 3. And if you've stuck around for this entire video, guess what? I got a surprise for you. You can get the Insta360 GO 3 with a 20% discount using my link down in the video description below. That's right, 20% off, but it's only for the first 20 people who order. So if you want this sweet little camera at 20% off, then uh, yeah, definitely click the link in the video description below. All right, I'm out of here. Hope you have a good rest of your and I'll see you in the next one.